Well, tonight, it's been nine months since a major waste spill in Morrow County. Ten Investigates has learned that the farm responsible for that spill made repairs, but neighbors worry it's only a matter of time before it happens again. Ten Investigates' Lindsay Mills reports tonight. On Christmas Eve 2022, John and Carol Dobikin woke up to a mess. You think, what do you do? You know, who do you call? 150,000 gallons of waste flooding their yard. Nothing but a mess. Renergy is a bioenergy farm located across the street from the Dobikins Murrow County home. The farm feeds a digester located in this dome with animal and food waste to help generate electricity. Even before this spill from Renergy, neighbors complained about foul odors, truck traffic, and noise for years. There. Wow. Did you hear that? <laughs> that came from the neighbors. As soon as they put up that dome and started this stuff, we all got concerned. We could smell it. You can smell it every night. It's terrible. In August 2022, four months before the spill, US EPA Region 5 issued a notice of violation to Renergy, alleging excess air pollution emissions and improper operation of air pollution control equipment. The EPA told 10 investigates those alleged violations remain under investigation. In January, Ohio Attorney General Dave Yost asked a Morrow County judge for a preliminary injunction on the facility. The civil case is ongoing with another court date scheduled for April of 2024. The state alleges it's a threat to public safety and the environment for air and water violations. The EPA says they're actively investigating those allegations. So did the repair work ever happen? And is Renergy still running? I haven't seen anything at all. 10 investigates decided to find out. In March, we requested emails sent between Renergy's owner, Alex Ringler, and the Ohio EPA. Six months later, we got those emails through an open records request. They reveal a target date for repair work was set for the end of February, quote, depending on weather and equipment. Ohio EPA advised Renergy to notify the state, EPA, and residents when the dome was going to be replaced because of the possibility of toxic gas being released into the air. In its final procedure draft, Renergy indicated it would notify the state and EPA, but not residents. It just says to us that they don't care and we're on our own. We called Ringler to find out more about the repairs and why Renergy did not intend to notify residents about the removal of the dome for repairs. But earlier this month, he told 10 investigates by phone to reach out to a PR firm. We reached out to the firm twice. In an email, a spokesperson said the firm hasn't been engaged with Renergy for years. And so I wanted to follow up and I had some questions for you about the repair work done. According to the Ohio EPA, repair work has been done to the biodigester. That's a brand new dome on top. But take a look across the street where that spill spilled over into this property. For these homeowners, it took more than six months for the cleanup. Those homeowners, Carol and John Dobikin. Basically, you feel helpless against it. You want everybody to be able to make a living and all that, but it's it, it's it. Why is it at, at our expense? That's the problem. According to Ohio EPA, all expected repairs have been made at Renergy and the biodigester is still operating, but no longer accepts sewage sludge or biosolids from publicly owned wastewater treatment plants, only food waste and manure. The goal is to make sure the system doesn't overload like it did during the spill. Are you concerned it could happen again? Oh, it definitely is going to it happen. It will again. happen again. Lindsay Mills, 10 Investigates. Now, the Renergy facility in Morrow County is one of two in the state of Ohio. Just yesterday, Attorney General Dave Yost announced the shutdown of one located in Greene County, citing complaints about bad smells from the facility's neighbors and alleged environmental violations. Now, we talked to Yost today. He says they're still dealing with the plant there in Morrow County. Our message to everybody in Ohio and message to the, this industry is obey the law, con conform to the standards, do this right, be a good neighbor, and we're going to stay on the job. You can count on 10 Investigates to continue to follow this story closely.